Walking into this ward now where there are side rooms all the way off and there are people in the wards along here to meet a gentleman who, uh, he's an award winner actually. Tell me who you are. I'm Alistair Gray, I'm the clinical services lead pharmacist for ELHT. How come I've come to meet you on a ward then as a pharmacist? On a ward? Well, um, most of our pharmacy team spend the time actually on the wards, uh, either working with the doctors on the ward round or speaking to the patients after ward round to make sure they're getting the best from the medicines right. and uh, that they're prepped for discharge if, uh, if we get the heads up that they're going to go home. Because people want to get out as quick as they can, don't they? They do indeed, but we want to make sure they get out safely and they've got the right follow-up in place so when they, when they go home that they're, that they're properly cared for. You've got some groundbreaking stuff going on here, haven't you? We have indeed. Um, we've got a scheme which we innovated here called Refer to Pharmacy. You can find out more on www.elht.nhs.uk forward slash refer. Uh, and what it is, it allows the hospital pharmacy team to refer patients directly to, the, to their own community pharmacist for some sort of post-discharge help with the medicines. That might be they're a care home resident or they have uh, the medicines in a blister pack and we just want to let the community pharmacist know about those changes to the medicines so they don't accidentally continue things that have been stopped or miss things that have been started. Or it might be they've been started on a brand new medicine and they're eligible for a service called the new medicine service or a discharge medicines review with the community pharmacist. And that's when they have a consultation in the pharmacy's consultation room after they've gone home and they, they find out all about the medicines, about the disease that they've actually got and how they can get the best from the medicines and stay healthier home. So this is really you here at the hospital linking up with the person who's going to be dealing with the patient when they've gone home or, or to wherever they're residing. Yeah that's absolutely right. It sounds very simple and the, the concept is very simple although actually the technology to enable it is, is very complex and actually we are a, a world first here. No, nobody else is doing what we are doing in such an integrated way. You should be so proud of what's happening here in Lancashire. Who's this lady? Well, I'd like to introduce um, Emma Dodd. Uh, she's one of our pharmacists uh, on, on B18. We're on the cardiology ward. And she's uh, one of our uh, pharmacists taking part in what we're calling the Dedicated Ward Pharmacy Project. Oh, go on, and tell, you go tell on. me about that. What's yeah. it about? So it's um, a fantastic service that we're providing on quite a few of our wards now. Um, we're actually, the pharmacist is now integrated fully on the ward round. So we, we're at the point of prescribing with doctors we're on hand to offer advice with all the medications and we're on hand to offer advice to the patients let them know of any changes that have gone on with the medications while they've been in and then we're communicating to the chemist as well to let them know what changes have been made we're speaking to relatives we're just keeping everyone in the loop really just yeah. making that virtuous transfer back to community and to ultimately prevent people coming back into hospital yeah. such a lot of um what the consultants do on ward round is medication based so mm. we're really on hand to offer advice it, it just makes sense doesn't it when you talk about it like that you think for goodness sake why haven't we been doing this for years yeah. um, how long have you been doing this here I've in been, blackburn i've been here three years um mm. but as of from january we rolled out this dedicated ward pharmacy service so it's yeah. fantastic. And what's the kind of feedback you're getting from patients as you're doing this? Well I think you know we're renowned for that you know the consultant can tell a patient at nine o'clock they can go home and at six o'clock we're still waiting for tablets and we've completely eradicated that, right. that now so we're preparing TTOs the discharge right. prescriptions so one day in advance so that as soon as the patient's fit to go we can send them on the way with the relevant information and the medicines in a timely manner so patients are we've had a hundred percent patient satisfaction from the service we're providing so fantastic well done and congratulations on the award War awards uh, Sally. Awards? The, 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 the Trust run the uh, Patient Safety Award in July for Best Emerging Technology and IT. So that's really nice to be recognised by sort of our peers. And that was for Refer to Pharmacy. And similarly, my, my own society, the Royal Pharmaceutical Society, awarded me with the Leadership in Pharmacy Award uh, in September for the, the, getting the Refer to Pharmacy development off the, off the ground. Feel the weight of that. Goodness me, I have to tell you, he's just handed me his award, which is a, it's a cylinder, isn't it? And yeah. it's incredibly heavy. What are you going to do with that? Well, the, the award is a very good paperweight, first of all, but, <laughs> yeah. but uh, really it's about using this as a springboard to help spread the concept yeah. of refer to pharmacy around the country. We are talking to lots of sites, lots of hospitals around the, the, the country, uh, and we're getting close, to think, to another site going live. So that, that'll be wow. like the icing on the cake. Thank you so much.